Hi everybody, welcome to Breeders' Cup Focus. I'm Dan Ullman along with Matt Bernier and in this edition we're going to focus on the Breeders' Cup Juvenile and our coverage is presented by Malibu Moon at Spendthrift Farm. Let's take a look at the top contenders. The Breeders' Cup pre-entries are out. Here is the preliminary morning line as ranked by Daily Racing Form National Handicapper Mike Watchmaker. No surprise that Bolt Doro, the impressive winner of the Front Runner Stakes at Santa Anita, is your 7 to 5 favorite and if he stays sound leading up to this race, be one of the shorter price favorites on the entire two-day Breeders' Cup card. You know, I'm, I might go a step further and say he, he's going to be the shortest if he goes through and everything goes on as planned over this next week. I just think he's just so much the horse to beat in here. Uh, also, it's one of those things to keep in mind when you go through and look at this entire field. He earned a 100 buyer in the front runner. There was talk that at the raw number should have been closer to a 113. I mean, my goodness, the 100, if he runs that, he's going to win. If he actually was closer to the 113, you can win by the length of the stretch. Good group of two-year-olds. Hollywood Star, who's listed at 20 to 1 on the watchmaker line, is by Malibu Moon. But let's take a look at Bolt Doro's star-making performance in the front runner stakes last time out. Two-turn test. He turns for home into the stretch, and he just stays straight and strong. And this race got, as you mentioned, a huge buyer speed figure. And you could argue if he regresses even somewhat off this race, he's still the most likely winner by a long way. He's just been so impressive in all three of his lifetime starts. He debuted at Del Mar. He won in gate to wire fashion. He won the Futurity after being a little bit slow out of the gate, coming from well off the pace. And then here in the front runner, he sits just off the pace setter inherits this thing and goes on and just absolutely blows the doors off the field. There's nothing real, there are no holes in this horse right now. The second choice on the watchmaker line is Free Drop Billy at 6-1 to one for Dale Romans and this horse has been well regarded in most of his starts. He came through last time out in the major prep race at Keeneland for the Juvenile. That's the Breeders' Futurity. You see him taking over right now and he's strong to the wire. This was a really solid, visually impressive performance, but the fig doesn't come back anywhere close to that earned by Bolt Doro in California. No, it doesn't. And the thing too, though, is with this horse, he's got a beautiful pedigree. It feels like distance is going to be his friend. I don't know that that helps him in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, but I think next year, the Triple Crown Trail, I think he's going to be a major factor. The major prep race in New York for the Juvenile is the prestigious Champagne. That's a one-turn yeah. race. And we're going to swing into the stretch, and you're going to see Forenze Fire on the far outside really take advantage of a fast pace up front. That's good magic, the number six. A second time starting maiden for Chad Brown, fighting this horse down towards the inside, but Forenze Fire has got the momentum. He's got the momentum and he got a beautiful pace. In it. Now keep in mind, you see him hanging on his left lead. That's a concern for me. I know you and I have talked about it off camera. I, I wonder if ultimately he's going to be kind of a one-turn horse, a seven-eighths of a mile or even a sprinter. Um, I don't want to say that he has no chance, obviously, in a race like the Breeders' Cup Juvenile, but I just think he's got a lot going against him. Those two horses are 8-1 to one on Watchmaker's line. Can you make the argument that good magic is coming into his own? And the fact that Chad is willing to go on to the Juvenile in the face of a daunting challenge like Bolt Doro, with a third time starting maiden, that's got to be considered a good sign. I mean, this is a big ticket horse with a big pedigree who's just run very well in a grade one stake. Yeah, I think he's certainly on the right direction, trending upward. I don't know, again, it's going to take a lot to beat a horse like Bolt Doro, but at the same time, he's another one that you want to keep an eye on. Whether or not he wins next Saturday afternoon is another story, but I think down the road, he's going to be on the short list of horses you're looking at come derby time if everything goes as planned. Let's take a look at the top contenders one more time. I want to talk about Bob Baffert's entrant and that's Solo Meany. I think he is a very intriguing long-term prospect Agreed. for the spring preps leading up to the Kentucky Derby. I wonder if this is a little bit of too much too soon. No match for Bolt Doro last time out. I wouldn't be surprised though if he improves here and then gets a chance to grow up over the winter. 100%. I, I couldn't agree more. He's got that pedigree. It looks like distance is going to be his friend. Again, no match in his most recent start for for, for Bolt Doro, but at the same time, I wonder is you get some more racing into him, he's going to be that kind of horse, and they can take steps forward. Bolt Doro, the seven to five preliminary morning line favorite, as Daily Racing Form National handicapper Mike Watchmaker sees it for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile. Free Drop Billy, second choice, Forenze Fire, and Good Magic from New York, the co third choices at eight to one. That's it for this edition of Breeders' Cup Focus, presented by Malibu Moon at Spendthrift Farm.